Greetings Tinker teachers, this is Daniel Rizak, the Education Community Manager for Tinker. And this video is going to walk you through how to add students to a classroom using the join code, which is one of the easiest and most efficient ways to add students to a class. So let's begin. All right, so I'm going to show you two examples. Uh, these are free teachers that uh, um, one is a Google account. I logged in with a Google account. Uh, when I logged into Tinker, and the other one I logged in and created an account just with an email, uh, so not a Google email. Uh, so I get different kind of funnels. The first thing I have to do is I have to set up my first class. So as a uh, Google, uh, let me do the Google example first. Um, I'm not in this example going to set up uh, my Google Classroom. If you use Google Classroom, that's great. You can pull in your Google Classrooms. Uh, but for today, I'm just going to create a new Tinker Classroom and we're going to choose a grade level and I'm going to choose next and again remember this is my Google account email that I signed up with so the next option I get is to uh, add students I have to add students to my class and I can do this a few different ways but in this example we want to use a join code because it's super easy when I click on that I get this join code and I'm going to go ahead and write that on the board All right. Now I need to tell my students who I also would like to log in with Google. Uh, I, want to, I want to have them log in with Google and then they're going to type this in uh, in their account. So let me, uh, let me show you the student example. Okay, now I'm going to tell my students to go to tinker.com and to sign in. All right, so even if a student has never created or if you haven't created a Tinker account, uh, if I have a student sign in with Google, then here's what's going to happen. I'm going to choose my student and there's no account found. However, I gave that student a class code. So I'm going to tell the student to type that right in there and voila. Student has an account and they've also uh, been created a class for that account. So if that student goes to my classes, they should see Mr. Rezac's classroom. And there's no lessons assigned just yet. So there it is. So that's how to add students using a join code with a Google account. Uh, the next example I'm going to show you is how to do this uh, with just a regular old Tinker account. So this next example, we're going to show you a teacher who signed up with a Tinker account, uh, not a Google uh, email or a Microsoft email or anything else. And they have to finish the funnel here just uh, like a Google account did and finish setting up their classroom. And again, they get these three choices and they're going to ask students to put in this join code when they uh, go to their accounts. So let's again look on this on the student side as students uh, log into Tinker. So now I'm gonna sign into Tinker and I'm gonna do this as a student. And I have a student account that has already been created by me at one point. Uh, and this student is going to go to my classes right here. And at the top of that tab, they're going to join a class. And this is where they're going to paste in that class code. Let's just double check I get the right ones. Uh, or they're going to type that in. And they're going to join that class. They've joined successfully. I can refresh those classes. And now that student should see that class right there. So let me go and uh, refresh this page. So now you can see I have a classroom dashboard uh, that has no, um, I don't believe I added any lessons or it auto assigned a couple of uh, free courses for me. But if I go to the students tab, you can see there's my, there's my student who uh, added the class on their end. So that is how to add uh, students to a class using the join code, whether you're using Google accounts uh, or whether you're using Tinker accounts. So good luck.